Hey guys, Ben here. I'm here in Margaret River and I have with me two uh, GPX 6000s. I'm going to be sharing with you what's in the box, having a look at what's inside. And if you stay to the end, you'll see everything that we've got and we may even do a bit of a tour with them on the beach and show you how they all come together. So let's have a look at what's in the box. I've just picked these bad boys up from Bunbury actually at Prospector's Pick. Um, great guys to deal with. And let's have a look at what we actually have in here. So on the back of the box, kind of gives us a bit of a breakdown. So what's it got? Basically it helps us find gold. Easy Expert has heaps of cool settings. Basically a lighter swing and a longer detecting time. So that's pretty cool. Built to last, but I think what's really cool on here is a choice of coils. It comes with two different coils, which you won't get with the SDC 2300 or the 7000 straight out of the box, which kind of makes it pretty cool. And heaps of cool audio features as well. We're gonna be doing some uh, videos of these out actually getting gold coming to you very, very soon. But let's just pull out and have a look at, pull out the box and see what's actually inside. So you can see here we have obviously a book, which is cool. Um, all the instruction manual, user manual of everything that it comes with. It is a, a massive book, it's 25 pages full of all the different settings and all the things that you can do uh, with the GPX 6000. Now it does come with two different size coils. We have a 14 inch and an 11 inch coil. Basically we have the larger coil and a smaller coil. So let's have a look. Basically here's the coil, 14 inch coil. And then we have over here our 11 inch coil. You can see it there, GPX 11 inch. So what else have we got inside the box? Basically we have a bunch of cool stuff. Let's have a look, this looks like it might be, um, oh, this is the charging. So this looks like it's all the 240 volt charging. So you've got a European plug, an Australian plug, a British plug, and an Asian plug. Obviously here in Australia, we would use this one here. And you would just put that straight on there like that, plug it into the wall and charge your battery. Let's have a look, what else have we got in the box? So we have, uh, this looks like it might be the computer unit for the top end. Literally, I've, oh no, it's the battery. It's actually the battery for the back. Very compact battery. You can see it's quite lightweight um, in comparison to say the 7000 battery. Um, that's actually pretty impressive. But wait, there's more. So let's have a look in here. So in here we have obviously the arm band that your arm goes through. We have in here the 12 volt battery charger. So if you, if you aren't camping, you can put this on your battery terminals, plug it into your detector battery and charge it. Uh, we have headphone lead jack. Now these ones here are obviously for the detector. You plug that into the back of the detector, this one into your headphones. So you've got a nice clean audio coming into your headphones as well. Oh, a pretty sick pair of headphones. Now these are actually supposed to be wireless headphones, I'm told. Um, so. You can hook in the wire if you want, but they're fully wireless to the unit. Um, not like the, the other, you know, mine lab detectors, they do not have wireless headphones, so that's pretty cool. Headphones look pretty, pretty cool quality, they're nice and soft, super light, obviously expandable for your head, so that's perfect. The mine lab headphones are always seriously good quality. Okay, last but not least, we have the actual uh, unit itself, uh, and we can see that obviously it gets better, wet, bigger, when you extend out the telescopic pole. Holy crap, it literally just came apart. Brand new out of the box, that's cool. So there's a trick for young players. Does this one get bigger? Oh, it does. So it's two. It's a two pole telescopic. You can see there's a red line on there, obviously, to make sure you don't pull it past the red line or you'll be in trouble. So that's a detector, super lightweight. I mean, you can hold the thing with two fingers. It's super balanced. So this is actually connected to the detector itself. You can see there's a little play-by-play -play of what to do. So we have how to use a detector, how to turn it on, how to use a swinging action. Some of the cool stuff that's in here, some of the features and benefits, kind of pretty cool. So battery charging, assembly. So if you're thinking, how do I put this together? All the instructions straight on there, so that's handy. So if you're putting the battery in guys, you literally just grab the battery, slide it on like so, it'll click into place and that's it, nice and light battery all plugged in ready to go all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the actual coil on here basically you want to connect this bit here to here wind the cable up and then connect the end of the cable into your uh, actual gpx 6000 just there so that would look something like this you can see just undo the little screw here it's kind of cool take the take the grommets out 
put the grommets in the, you'll see um, on the side here, there's little spots for the, the grommet washers to go into. That will go in there like that. And obviously once you've got those in there, we want to slide this on nice and gently in between, like so. And you'll see one side is threaded, so it takes the, the bolt, put it through, tighten it up, and away you go. So now what you want to do is you want to twist this around. I'm just going to tighten the tighten telescopic up. Now obviously you probably don't want it to go uh, above, above here where your arm's going to sit. So try and make it sort of as tight as possible. And then what you want to do is you want to just tighten, put this plug straight into there, line the pins up correctly. There is a guide, don't just go shoving it in there. Line it all up properly and tighten it up. So it looks like the guide pins on the bottom. So you'll see the little black line. You want to put that just on the bottom there and then tighten up the lock nut like so. Oh, I think I've put this around the wrong way. So pro tip, what not to do, make sure you put that bit with the sticker the right way around so you can see. Oh yeah, that's right, look at that. So that's got that like that and we should be all good to go detecting. This is the screen that we get when we first light it up. Looks like the battery is almost dead. So you may need to charge them when you first buy them. It's a metal. Oh, there's some. So the last thing you want to do is you want to put this um, arm holder on to here and connect that up. So you can see that sh looks like it just slides straight down. You want to line up the bottom, this bit here, so this will twist this bit here, so that's clicked out and then that'll click in where you want it. So we'll slide that down on the guides. Uh, yep, that's how we want it. Do we want it like that? Slide it down. Line it all up. And then just give it a click in here and that'll hold it so it doesn't move. So that's everything that's in the box, the GPX 6000. Pretty cool one, right? So guys, if you'd like to get your hands on one of these, go out and actually uh, do some detecting with the 6000. Don't want to have to pay the $8,000 price tag to go buy one. Uh, we do rent these out. So if you're thinking, how do I get a hold of these? Uh, we'll put a link in the description. Make sure you check it out. Uh, you can rent one out next weekend and uh, go and do some detecting with the new GPX 6000. So guys, if you found this video helpful, uh, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button. It'll just keep you notified of any other videos and it helps the channel out a little bit.